Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install the Orange Fox recovery onto your Poco F4 phone. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on the safer side and, and once that is done, you could now start off. So first off, you'll have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download them from the link given in my guide and extract it onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract them anywhere you want on your PC. Once you have done the extraction, let's now move over to our next step. You will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking onto your phone. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now enable both this toggle. So for that, go to the settings menu on your phone. And from settings menu, go to about phone. And under about phone, tap on MIUI version 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So now go back and go to additional settings. From there, you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. For USB debugging, you will get a prompt on your phone. So check mark, I'm aware of the risk. And then you will have to wait for 10 seconds. And after that, you have to tap on OK. So with this, USB debugging is enabled. And you will now get an RSA key fingerprint prompt. So tap on OK. And let's now verify the ADB debugging connection. For that, go to the platform tools folder on your PC, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command form inside the platform tools folder as you could see. Now you have to type in ADB devices and hit enter. So let's see. Make sure you are now getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone to the PC. Likewise, enable and disable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging authorization. Use the official USB cable and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting the serial ID, you could now move over to next step. Next step, you will now have to unlock the booter on your phone. Do keep in mind that doing so will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might nullify the warranty as well. So if that's well and good, you could refer to our guide or the video on how to unlock the booter on any Xiaomi phone. The process has been carried out using the Me Unlock tool. So please make sure to Unlock the bootloader and once the process has been completed, the tool should show something like this, unlock successfully. Once you get this message, apart from that, you could also go to the developer option on your phone. And from there, you could verify the me unlock status. It should show as this device is unlocked. Likewise, under OEM unlocking also, it's showing as bootloader is already unlocked. So once you've unlocked the bootloader, you could now move over to our next step. So next up, you now have to download the Orange Fox recovery. So simply open the link given in my guide. So just go to this link and click on the download option. From here, you could download the recovery file. Once you download the recovery, make sure to transfer it to the platform tools folder. So this may show you this is the platform tools folder and the recovery will be downloaded as a zip format as you could see. So right click on it and select extract all and it will then extract the recovery inside a folder. So this is the extracted recovery and these are all the files inside the recovery. So now what we have to do is go to the extracted recovery folder and Copy the recovery.img file from there and paste it in the platform tools folder. So this is the recovery file that we have got after extracting the orange fox zip file. So paste the recovery file inside the platform tools folder. And once that is done, you will also have to transfer the orange fox zip recovery file to your device. The zip file has to be transferred to your phone. So for that, bring up the notification panel and make sure to check mark USB file transfer and Android Auto. This will make your phone visible on your PC. So now Copy the recovery zip file and open it onto your phone and simply transfer this file to your phone. You could paste them anywhere you want. I am placing it in the internal storage. So it's also known as the root directory. So paste the recovery file over here. So just to repeat, the recovery zip file has to be there on your phone. Whereas the recovery IMG file, which is inside the extracted recovery file, this is the recovery IMG file inside the extracted file, should be there in the platform tools folder. As you could see, it's in the platform tools folder and the zip file is on our phone. So once we have done this, we could now move over to our next step. So next step, we have now have to boot our phone to fast boot mode. So let's now do a, that task. For that, you could either use the hardware key combination that will involve powering off your phone, then press and hold the volume down and power key for five seconds, and your phone will boot to fast boot mode. Apart from that, you could also use the ADB commands. So let me take the help of ADB command. For that, you have to type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your phone should now boot to the fast boot mode, and it should take around five to ten seconds at the very max. So it's just about to boot to fast boot mode and let's wait for the time frame. So as you could see, our phone is now 
booted to the passport mode and we have got the passport logo on our phone as well you will now have to verify if your pc is able to identify the phone in passport mode or not for that you have to launch cmd inside the second code folder and then type in passport devices make sure it's showing a serial id if you are not getting a serial id then you will have to install passport drivers onto your pc for that i already made a video as well as a guide on how you could install the passport drivers you could refer to the guide or the video and make sure to install the passport drivers once you have installed the passport drivers make sure it is showing as the serial id is showing under passport devices likewise use the windows x shortcut keys and select device manager then expand the android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface let me show you if i expand the android phone my phone is showing here as android bootloader interface so if it's showing like this over here and you are getting a serial id then it means your pc is able to identify the phone in fastboot mode and you are now good to go ahead so next up we'll now have to boot our phone to the orange box recovery this is because the poco f4 does not have a recovery partition so we will first boot our phone to the recovery we cannot directly flash to the recovery partition because there is no recovery partition on poco f4 so for booting to the recovery we just have to use the fast boot boot then the name of the recovery file which in our case is recovery.img so make sure to verify that first and foremost you have the recovery img file inside the platform code folder and likewise the name of the file is recovery.img if that's well and good then simply execute the command of fast boot boot the name of the file which is recovery.img and it will now transfer the recovery file to our phone in the boot partition and then our phone will boot to the orange box recovery so as you could see it's transferring the boot.img file in the boot partition and should only take a few seconds and now our phone should now boot to the orange box recovery it's as of now it's just a temporary boot and it will be gone after the next restart so we will now have to make it permanent as well so let's wait for our phone to boot in the orange box recovery so as you could see our phone is now in the orange box and it's not just a temporary boot we now have to make it permanent so to make it permanent you should wait for the recovery to go into the home screen and from here you just have to select the zip file that we have transferred earlier as you could see is the orange fox zip file so select it and then swipe a right to install the file as soon as you perform a right swipe the flashing will now start and it will now flash the orange fox zip file to your phone and the process will only take a few seconds once that is done you should go back and again you should go to the home screen and from here go to reboot and from here you should select the recovery our phone will now reboot to the recovery mode and if it's boot to the orange fox then it means that the recovery has been installed successfully so we are just re-verifying if the recovery has been flashed or not so this will confirm our process do keep in mind that the first boot up to the recovery could take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal so as you could see our phone has now booted to orange fox and with this we have successfully installed orange fox recovery so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do leave them in the comment section and please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching